Hey everybody, Janice Whiting here. I'm going to give it a minute or so to make sure that I am actually showing up on Coach Connection. I'm going to refresh my screen real quick. So this is a live feed. I'm here to go ahead and to show you guys our um, journey sketches number six. So I have gone ahead and put it on the journey sketches. Hi, Donna. I have gone ahead and put our uh, sketch number six. It's already up on our journey sketches page. Oh, there it is. Good, good. Make sure I'm they're looking the right way and everything's looking okay. Um, so I've, I've gone ahead and I've posted it on the Journey Sketches Facebook page, but in case um, you have not gone over that way, I will go ahead and show you this week's sketch. Let's see if I can, and I know it's probably backwards or whatever, but it's mainly, that's pretty much it right there. Okay, and the card that I made, go ahead and see if it'll show up. Features our herald angels. Look at that fun glitter on those wings. So fun. Um, so before I wanted to, before I'm going to go ahead and, and, and get into creating this card, I did want to just really quick give some reminders. So today is the 11th, right? And tomorrow is the 12th. The 12th is the last day to register for FSJ Presents. So if you've not done that, if you were waiting to the last minute, it's the last minute. So tomorrow is the last day. So make sure if you're interested in doing that, that you go ahead and sign up for that. You know, as coaches, we get an extra 20% off um, the price. So that's not, that's not bad. Um, anyway, so make sure to take advantage of that if you haven't already. Um, hi, Deidre. Hi, Carmen. I see you guys uh, popping up. That's awesome. Um, so once again, if you just popping in, this is the sketch for week six or sketch six rather for journey sketches. And I made a, um, hey Carmen, a Christmas card featuring these beautiful herald angels, which I have been dying to get my hands on. To be quite honest, there are so many stamps, guys. We have so many beautiful stamps that, um, I've been dying to get my hands on. I feel like I say this often, like I can't wait to play with this set or that set or really any, there's a long list and there's just not enough hours in the day uh, for me to get to it. So anyway, I was gonna show you how to create this. Hey ladies. Um, and again, it goes with this sketch right here. Okay, so you can kind of see what I've done there. And I wanted to say this, I have loved everybody's interpretation of sketches. Hi Laura, oh good, I'm glad you like the card. Um, so the awesome thing about sketches, there's people are always asking for, so what are the rules is, you know, what size is the card and that kind of a thing. And the awesome thing is that you get to take this sketch and interpret it however it is that you, you feel like it, um, it should go. So, um, you know, you can technically take these and they don't have to be rectangular. They can be something else. Mine just happened to fit that. Um, and so that was perfect. And you know, the circle in the center, it could, it didn't have to be a perfect circle. It could be another image of some sort. Okay. So you take it and interpret it however you see fit. And obviously you see that added a little bit of an extra die cut here. Um, and I did actually three circles in the middle, not just the one. So that is the awesome thing about sketches is that you take it and you just use it and, uh, use it for your own inspiration to create something fun. So, um, okay, I think that's it for this. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put this together. I'm going to look over here to make sure I'm not missing any. Hi, Janice. Hello, Deborah. Oh, good. Thank you, Laura. I really appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera. Guys, it's been so busy. Have y'all been busy? I feel like we are entering the busy season. It's one of my favorites because it's the holidays, right? So Thanksgiving is coming up and then it's Christmas and then it's New Year's and um, it's 
I, this is one of my favorite times of the year, but it also means that we are like crunched with on time, like very, very, very busy. Um, I've got three young kids, and so they have all sorts of events and activities, and um, with my day job and everything else, it's just a busy time. Um, so I'm glad to be here and to be able to show you guys what I've created and how I put it together. So, hi Joan, hi Helen, good to see you ladies. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn the camera towards my desk area, and y'all just be patient, okay, because um, you're going to see uh, my outfit, and then eventually you'll see the um, the table here that I'm working on. Uh, so here we go. Let's see if I can get this without being too terribly. Ooh. One minute. There it goes. Get to see my dirty floor. All right, I'm almost there. You know, one day I'll get this and I'll know just exactly how it all works. Until then, here we go. I think I've got it. And hopefully the um, shadows won't be so bad. Okay, forgive me, forgive me. Okay, so I think if I scoosh this up, and I move all of my pencils out of the way. Hopefully you guys have recovered from the nausea I just gave you by moving all that all the way over. Okay, I think we can, I think this is good. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you my card back again. So this is the card that I created. I can organize my little area here. And I'm going to rotate the camera. I always forget that you guys are um, a little bit different orientation. So please forgive me as I just turn this this way for just a minute so that you can see the right orientation. Is that better? I think so. All right. So I'm going to plug that in. All right, and I'm going to see if I can look at my computer here to answer any questions that you might, might have. Yes, Laura, nonstop until early December. Yes, that is me, me. FSJ stops for the season early December. Um, have the grandkids back again. Can't wait for them to be here. Love them more than stamping. Yes, of course. We definitely love our family more than stamping. And I love the holidays. I love the break that we get and just the time to kind of unwind. I do get to create more because I'm home more. And so in general, it is one of my favorite, favorite seasons. So, all right. So I've got my card here. And I just wanted to bring it up, and if you would just excuse this shadow, so my phone is, is not charged, so I needed to plug it in. Um, okay, so as you can see, we started with our card base, and it's just a regular, um, you know, five and a half by four and a quarter card base, and I did do it this orientation. Of course, on your sketch, you could turn your sketch, you know, if you want to be creative and turn it this way, you totally can. A lot of people will turn the orientation of their sketch. Sometimes they'll flip the sketch. And that is the beauty of a sketch is you can do it however you want. Um, as long as kind of the main elements of the sketch are there, then you're golden. Um, so this is our Denim Days cardstock. From there, you will need a panel of our brushed silver. And this is, again, such a pretty, pretty um, paper. It's a nice, thick cardstock. And the dimension on, on these are four and a half by three and a quarter. And then a, a whipped cream panel. And this one is just a fourth of an inch less, so it's um, four and a quarter by three on that one. And you're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adhere those um, together. I'm going to use my handy dandy graph craft glue, although you could use whatever you have. Y'all remember why I like craft glue so much? I love it because I can shift and shimmy and get it just exactly right. Where I can't always do that with my with my tape runner. There we go. And then just kind of rub it gently for it to kind of stick. Okay, so this panel is good to go. So this will go here, right in the center. 
And let me see if I can move this over a little bit. And then the other thing that we use is um, a gorgeous die set that is one of my favorites that, I, you know, it's gorgeous, but I really haven't used it that often. It's the ornamental medallion die set, and it is gorgeous. I have die cut this using, again, our brushed silver um, paper, and I just love it. It's Isn't it just so pretty? So pretty. Now, for this card, and forgive that light there, I actually trimmed the edges, but I'm going to wait a minute before I do that. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this off to the side and walk through some of the other pieces that I need for the card. Um, you'll notice here all of my circles. And so what I did was I brought up, used our Journey Circles dies and used them uh by cutting some of the various sizes out. This one and our denim days. And I did use the piercing elements die that went along with it. I love that extra added detail that those give. Um, and then of course I went ahead and cut one out of our brushed silver and that creates that second layer, okay? All right, and then the final one is this little circle here that we use to kind of put our sentiment on. And for that, and I just got a scrap piece of our whipped cream, and we're going to go ahead and stamp it first, and then I'm going to use our punch handle and our one and a half inch cartridge. I believe it's one and a half. If it's one, I'll check. It's one and three fourths inch cartridge uh, circle punch to go ahead and punch the circle out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my stamp, and I guess I didn't really talk too much about it. This is the stamp set, kind of the hero of my card. And I have had this for a while and I have wanted to use this for a while because I love these angels. They are so beautiful. I love the details on them. I love that there's one facing uh, both directions, um, which is nice and handy. And let's see here. I see Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Yes, you can always catch the replay, and of course, I will post this on my YouTube page. Hi, Maria. Good to see you here. Talking about the beautiful Herald Angel stamp set. I also love these little ornament pieces. I didn't use them on my card, but I love them. And of course, the sentiments are awesome. Merry Christmas, Glory to the Newborn King, and Hark the Herald Angel Sing. I, uh, I used Glory to the Newborn King because I figured that's what they're shouting. Excited about that. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab that stamp right here. And I am going to use my stamp tool. I'm going to move the card over just a little bit here and move my stamp tool into place. And I'm going to put him kind of towards, actually, I think I'll put him over here. I'm going to be punching him out out of our circle, so it doesn't technically matter, but I don't want to waste all that paper. All right, so he's down, and I'm going to ink it up with our black licorice ink. And I always use the stamp positioner tool just because I don't always ink it up just right, and I like having the option. And that was okay, but I think I do like it to be just a little bit more bold. I like my sentiments to stand out. And so I love the option of being able to stamp twice for a darker or more bold look. And that is perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab him out. Take this little guy off. And then I'm going to bring over our punch tool. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm using the circle cartridge. And hopefully that's not too close up in the camera. But you can tell it's the one and three-fourths. Um, size, yeah, it's quite up there in the camera. But let's see if I can turn it this way. There we go. You can see the one and three fourths um, circle there. So I'm going to use this, and the reason I love this is because you can stick your cardstock right inside, and you can see where the sentiment is, and you can, you know, adjust to where you're going to punch it, which is quite nice. And so I'm going to see. I think that's about center-ish. I like to have my left and my right, my top and my bottom all even out. I'm going to press it. Perfect. And I'm done with that. So now let's see, I think I've got most of my pieces ready. So I've got my denim day circle, my brush sir, uh, silver circle, and then these together. I guess I can go ahead and adhere those real quick. And 
I'm just going to put my white uh, sentiment panel on top of my brushed silver. And that will be nice and in the center there. Turn it over, burnish it just a little bit. And then from there, this actually gets popped up onto the Denim Days um, panel there. And I'm going to use my little pop dots, our little foam squares that always like to run away from me. Do they run away from you? I feel like they're always on the go. <laughs> At least mine are. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab, I don't know, maybe two or three of these. Put them on the back. It's my large ones that like to go away. My small ones are always wherever I leave them. My large ones are the ones that tend to kind of run away. Okay. I'm going to adhere that to the center. There we go. Thank you, Donna. Hi, Georgie. Good to see you. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you here. It's just a little Sunday night crafting here. So I've got that. I was trying to see if it was, it's mostly centered. Okay, so this is a little panel that's going to be ready to roll. So as you can see here, this is a pretty simple card. The the last part, which is what I, I figured my favorite part, are these beautiful angels. They are definitely my favorite part. And let me see if this looks okay in the camera. You can kind of see, well hopefully you can see some of the shimmer and shine of the wings. And um, I don't know if you can tell, let me see if I can zoom up here a little bit. You can see, oh, there's the gold and the shimmer of the sparkle. And can you see the watercolor? Because that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to show you how I did the watercolor. Nothing fancy. Just I wanted a nice, serene look to my angels. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I've, I've already um, started. I did the watercoloring on one of my angels already. And let me see if I can move this a little bit over here. Um, and I'm only going to paint a second one. And then we'll add the sparkle dust to it. So this one I've already uh, watercolored. And excuse me as I move that camera over. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little bit so you can see. So don't mind me as I zoom in just a little bit. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. You can mind my shadow there. Um, so what I've done is I've stamped these with our clear pigment ink, okay, clear pigment ink, and then I heat emboss them um, with the silver embossing powder, all right, so that gives it that beautiful embossed look, nice and shiny and beautiful. Um, and then for, from there, we're going to start our watercoloring, and I'm using our Journey uh, watercolor, excuse me, our Watcher Splash or Color Splash uh, watercolor pencils, and I'm also using our small blending brush here, okay, just because it's nice and tiny, and I want to make sure I have um, a small brush to get into those small areas, um, and then what I'm doing is I've already started a little sheet, one of our clear acetate sheets here. You can see it's got some puddles of color already. And don't mind this black stuff. It's, it was the sheet that I got from the stamp set and some of the indexing kind of came off. So just ignore that. Um, so I'm going to push this little guy up here. And I've already, you probably can't tell, but I've already colored the skin tone and the hair, which I just did in a really light yellow and the skin tone I used um, 008 and the hair I used um, 17, all right? And so hopefully those are in view. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. What I did was I took a little bit of our blue, uh, blue number 31, and I've spritzed a little bit of water here and I basically just grabbed some colors straight from the brush here. And I didn't make it too dark because I wanted to start off with a lighter blue first. And I'm hoping that that light is not too bright. That silver is kind of shiny. Um, and I'm coming over and coloring most of her dress here. I'm going to leave it all a very light blue. I picked up something there. Let me move that out of the way. 
There we go. Just a very light blue. And I will come back and add a little bit of um, dimension and contrast in just a minute. But to start off, I wanted all of it to just be a little bit of a, a light blue color. Okay. And this little piece right here in the center, the being the most light. Because there's, it's kind of got some nice flowy layers to it and this little sash. But I wanted to make a little bit of a distinction. Okay, so that is the lightest blue that I've got. And I'm going to turn off this light over here and see if that helps with the shininess. I don't know if that helps at all, but hopefully it does. I know I still have got shadows, but hopefully you can see. From here, I'm going to come in from the brush. Hi, Sharon. Good to see you. Grab a little bit of the color and not too much water. And that's going to give me a little bit more of the dark blue there. You can see it right there. And I'm going to come in wherever I want a little bit of that contrast. So underneath any natural places that might um, be a little darker than most. So like underneath the sleeve area. I just grabbed a little bit of water off camera there. I think it's off camera. And then come back underneath the sash, a little bit more of the blue. There are places also where kind of the folds would give a natural place for a darker area to be. So lots of folds in this one, obviously. So lots of fun places for some darker colors, some contrast to show through. Down in here. Yes, I love, hi Roberta, I love painting with the water brush. It's so, it's so fun and I love the results that you get. You don't have to be a professional painter <laughs> to get good fun results. And you don't really have to, you know, If I think sometimes a lot of people get stuck on, I don't know what to do and what do I paint? Start with light layers, then go from there. Um, bring in some of that water to kind of mix and blend your colors a little bit. And I think... I think I'm gonna leave it right there. He's a little bit darker than my other one, but that's okay, I'm okay with that. All right. Let's see if I can give it, if I can hold it up a different way where you can actually see the color as opposed to that shine. I think you can see the color there, right? There was a little bit of a delay, so it's hard for me to look at the computer and see if that's what you're seeing or if it's where I'm at. Oh, that's a little too dark for you to see. Oh, there you go. That's probably a little bit better there. You can kind of see the color. Okay, great. All right, so we've done the, the dress. Love it. And from there, I'm going to clean out my brush, and I'm going to go to the wings. So I've done the wings already on the other angel, but you'll notice, or you might not notice, it might be hard to tell, but I put very little color on her wings. It's a little bit of a purple and a pink. I wanted it to be a little bit of kind of like an iridescent color. And so on the original card, there is a layer of the pink and the purple, but it's it's very, very faint. And I did that on purpose. I wanted it to be, um, again, kind of iridescent because I wanted that sparkle really to be the main thing that you see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. I basically took our pink number, let's see here, our pink number six. Thank you, Francis. Pink number six. I uh, got a little bit of that water. I'm gonna spray a little bit more actually because I don't want it to be too dark, just real light. And I really just did little flecks kind of here and there, nothing too um, specific. I didn't, I wasn't trying to get like full coverage, just a little bit of the color in there. Again, I'm gonna be basically covering most of this with sparkle dust and I wanted the color just again I was going for an iridescent look once I get my sparkle cuts or excuse me my sparkle dust on there 
I do the same thing with this side here. So I'm going to turn it this way and go in the same direction as my Lee or my feathers. Such a beautiful set. I love it so much. And you guys, I know I've seen so many beautiful projects created with these angels. I was inspired. Okay, and then maybe I'll do a very faint little bit of the pink in there. Okay, now one thing about the watercolors you should know is they dry a little bit lighter than they come on. So once it dries, it's a little bit lighter than what you see. Um, okay, and then the other color I used was just a little bit of purple. Again, I was going for that iridescent look and the purple and the pink was exactly what I was looking for. So I'm gonna grab some of this purple and basically do the same thing that I was doing with the pink, which is just kind of layering on a little bit of color, not too much. Again, I'm not, wasn't worried too much about full coverage, just wanted to add a little pop of it here and there. Because I'm gonna come and I'm gonna cover most of this, and really you're gonna see you're gonna see it, but you're gonna mostly see the sparkle, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Is you would just see um, kind of colored sparkles, light pink and purple here and there. All right, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. All right. From here, I brought some of our, I used some of our journey glaze and some of our sparkle dust. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring out my, actually I'm going to take this out so I don't get everything wet with color. And this is our journey glaze. And I'm going to use our media tray. I'm going to move this over. There we go. Put them in my media tray. And I'm going to very lightly use our journey glaze over this angel, just over the wings. And not I'm not going to cover it so much that it has like a, a glossy look. I just want enough to adhere a very light coating of it. And so literally, I'm not going to let it puddle. I'm just going to... I'm letting it touch, I'm, I'm letting the nozzle touch the paper and just put a little bit. So I don't, again, I don't want it to be puffy. I don't want the enamel look. I just want it enough to kind of grab some of those um, sparkles, sparkle dust. And I even smooth it out with my finger. And I'm going to do that to both sides. Because if the more glaze you put on, the more of the sparkle dust is going to stick to it, which is great if that's what you're going for. But I just want a very light coating. Because even though our um, sparkle dust is fairly opaque and can be transparent a little bit, just a little, it's, it's pretty, it's opaque. Um, and it can't be, it does have a, a little bit of transparency to it. But the more you put on, the more it will cover, the more opaque it will be, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set that down for just a second. I'm going to grab our beautiful, here they are, Journey Sparkle Dust. And this is our just really very fine micro glitter. And I'm just going to slide, just very lightly dust it over those wings. Very lightly. Because again, I don't want to overwhelm it. I just wanted to pick up some of that beautiful sheen. And I want my pink and my purple to show through. I'm gonna tap the excess. Ooh, so pretty! All right, now it's, I know it's probably hard to see. I'm gonna give it a second so that we can see, I can see what you see here. I don't know if that, there we go. You can kind of see the color. So the color is still underneath the wings. Beautiful wings. Um, that might be a little bit easier to see the color there. I'll have to just take a picture and show it. Well, the picture is I can do it. I can do an up close picture maybe because it's sometimes kind of hard to see. The color still there, but you've got that beautiful sparkle. So I'm going to go ahead and let that one over there to the dry. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere a little, or put a little bit more of. I say more. Haven't done this one yet. This is my original one. 
I want to do it beforehand just so I wouldn't be up here for too long. And I'm going to do the same technique or just a little bit. And I'm going to smear it with my finger so it just covers just enough, but not too much so that it's glossy. Okay. Thank you, Maria. I appreciate it. And then just a light coating. And then again with our beautiful, don't y'all love this stuff? I love it. I love it. All right. So again, just enough. So you just enough. You can still see the color of the wings right there. I think I hope you can see that. I'm so sorry. There. There we go. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and assemble our, our card. I'm gonna put this sparkle dust back in my container because I have been known to knock things over. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm gonna come and grab my card pieces, my angels. Y'all, I told you this is a really simple, simple card. Bring back that um, journey sketch should mostly be in mostly be in view. How about I leave it right there? There we go. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, adhere this with our foam squares. Of course, my big ones have run off, so little ones will have to do. And I'm going to do one in each corner, one in the middle. And whoever can come up with a backing remover be my best friend. <laughs> it's one of the things I hate about those little things, but I do love them. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and put this right in the center of the card. I really, I've been digging cards with about a half inch border lately. That's mostly, that's pretty good. Um, the next piece, layering piece, is this beautiful um, ornamental medallion die. And with this one, I use our craft glue because it is going to be glued directly to that panel. And I just put a little bit of glue here and there. The awesome thing about our craft glue is that it dries clear. And so you don't have to worry if you put a little too much and it seeps out. But you don't need too much because it'll it'll adhere pretty well with a few little drops. Okay, and she is going to go right in the center. So there's actually a couple of parts that stick off the top and the bottom and to the sides. Now on my original card, I trimmed the ones that are off to the side. Um, but I don't think it technically matters because the angels are probably going to be covering most of that. Okay, beautiful. From there, we've got this, remember we created the uh, circle embellishment and this goes um, flat on top of that. So again, with some of our journey glue, our craft glue. And this will just go right in the center. So pretty, I've been seeing a lot of cards with this blue theme and I just love it. I love it for winter. You guys have inspired me with that. Okay. And then the beautiful angels that will come and will just make this card sing. Right. They will go here, one on the top and one on the bottom. So they're fulfilling my two triangle pieces for the sketch. So we've got, again, the rectangular regular size card and then the silver mat in the center with the circle again this I took the literal approach with the circle and then uh, a little bit different approach with um, my little angels being my two rectangular pieces there and um, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere them and I do adhere those with foam squares and I will just do three. If I had my big ones, I would probably use two, one on top and one on the bottom. Hi, Candy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Are you guys crafting tonight? And this is going to kind of come up here above in the corner. So obviously this card is not 
a card for an envelope. It is a hand it to you in person card. Um, or maybe in a gift. Or at least in a really big card as the wings kind of kind of take up and go over the sides a little bit. But I'm okay with that. Be confident in your card design skills. Okay, and then this little beautiful angel will go here. All right. And so now that's it. It's a pretty simple design. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera up and over so that I feel like I am um, seeing your beautiful faces again. I'm going to switch this, and I'm so sorry. I'm going to make you seasick. And then I'm going to fold it back up. Oh, well, hello, up close and personal. Too close, too close, too close. And I'm going to go ahead and do this business. That's better. Ah! Okay, ladies so and gentlemen. Um, so there's the final card again. Just a recre recreating my card um, that I did for Sketch 6. Hopefully you guys um, can join us over there on the Journey Sketches uh Facebook page, okay? Um, be creative. Uh, congratulations to uh, Sandra Tate, who was our last month's uh, random drawing winner. She got a stamp set of her choice, so congrats. So just a reminder of how that works. You can uh, submit your beautiful drawings, and then once a month we will uh, just randomly pick one. It is a completely random pick for a full-size stamp set of your choice, okay? Um, and this is for coaches and non-coaches alike. So you can invite those who want to join. Thank you so much, Francis. Ladies, I think that's all I have to share with you today. Hop on by. Enjoy it. Don't forget, tomorrow is the last day to register for FSJ Presents, which is going to be an awesome event. So um, make sure you take advantage of that. Okay, I think that's it. Um, we will see you around, all right? Bye.